Thank you, Quentin. I'll uh, tell you some more numbers later. Uh, as you've heard, uh, my name's Matt. I'm a mathematician. And because of that, a lot of people come up to me and say, Matt, uh, you're a mathematician. Uh, well, they, no, they say more than that. Uh, can you show us how to use maths to get free money? For example, the National Lottery. Can we use that to get free money? And it seems like a good idea. Because the, the UK lottery, you buy a ticket and you predict six numbers that are going to come out of a barrel. They then mix 49 numbers out. And if they pull out your six, you get a giant sack of cash and you go buy a Ferrari. Uh, the only problem is there's only a slight chance it's going to happen. And I looked into this. You can look it up on their website. And I'm going to use the front row as my calculator screen. <laughs> your odds of winning the UK lottery are 0.000000. 000 7.15%. Uh, in maths, we call that a mind-numbingly small number. Uh, but we're bad at knowing how big a probability is, so I'm going to compare that to a better game. It's called the probability of being dead. Uh, you're all winning at the moment. Uh, we can work out your odds of not surviving the next year. So, miss, do you know your chances of being alive a year from now? Don't interact, I haven't got enough time. Uh, <laughs> Other people do. Your insurance company will have worked out the odds of you not making it. And I looked up the statistics, not just for you, for, for everyone. Uh, there are currently, if you're 15 to 29, there are 10,285,900 of you in the UK. Sorry to make you feel less special. Uh, and in the same year I got the data, 4,445 people met their end one way or the other. So if we divide that by the bigger number, your odds of dying in 12 months are 0.0432%, a dramatically bigger number than your odds of winning the lottery. In fact, if we divide your odds of dying in a year by 365.252, the exact number of days in the year, your odds of dying in 24 hours are 0.000118%, still bigger than your chance of winning the lottery. Your odds of winning the lottery in the UK are the same as your odds of dying in the next one hour, 27 minutes, and two seconds. Uh, so if you do wish to play the lottery, and you can, and peop I, I don't want to get all very pessimistic on you, all right? So just, uh, could you all now just think of something you've got to do tomorrow, right? Something, that, something you're not looking forward to. And now I want you all to relax. There's a 0.000118% chance you're not even going to have to deal with it. Uh, no, uh, anyway, uh, if you do play the lottery, my final bit of advice, make sure you buy your ticket within an hour and a half of the draw. If you buy it any earlier than that, there's a greater chance you won't live to see the draw than there is you're winning it. Thank you very much. Matt, that, that was beautiful. Can you just, just do a quick calculation for me, just an easy one? What are the chances of you winning tonight? <laughs> <laughs> if that's the hardest question you're going to give me, not so bad, actually. That's all right. That's... Put a number on it. Uh, one in 12. One in 12. Because, <laughs> <laughs> as you notice, we're all equally good. So, frankly, that's... <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll find science is the winner here. <laughs> um, Tamandra. Well, you see, I have to declare an interest here because having spotted Matt at the UK final last year, um, we're now doing a show together at the Edinburgh Fringe this year. So I'm possibly a little, a little biased here. Uh, but, I, but I would have to point out, in terms of your odds, Matt, that the UK finalist has never, ever won the international final. I don't know if that, <laughs> I don't know if that affects your calculation in any way at all. <laughs> I, I consider myself the. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a question. <laughs> I don't even get to answer that uh, one. It is. I, I know there was no there was no question mark, but there's a dot dot dot. Go on then. I was going to say I've considered myself the twelfth person representing England tonight, uh, and I've probably got comparable odds of winning the grand final as such. <laughs> well, not cheery now. Wow, football uh, audience. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quentin Cooper. <laughs> um, Thank you very much.